Hello everyone, welcome to today's yoga practice with a wall. It's gotta be very short and effective stretch. You can do this every morning to wake up your body or any time of your day if you need some stretches. As you're ready, find a wall. One of your hands, I'm gonna be uh, placing my right hand to the wall. Extend your left arm up and over, find it beautiful. Nice side stretch here. If you want to hold your wrist or keep the arm straight, do whatever feels good. Keep the neck nice and soft. Keep slightly to the side. Stay for three, two, breathe, breathe, one. Release the other side. This time, right hand up and over, shift your hip to the right, soften your neck. You can keep the chest open as you look up if it feels good for your neck. Again, stay for three, two, lengthen, lengthen, open up, one. Now place both hands on the wall. If you need to walk your feet a little bit backward, think about downward facing dog. Keep the arms straight, relax your chest down. Again, no tension in your neck. You can nod your head yes, or shake your head no. That is what's going on in your shoulders. How about your lower back? One more breath here. Breathe in, breathe out, release. All right, now we're gonna sit on the mat or maybe you can place the blanket under your hips for extra support. Your right side of leg against the wall and lift your legs up. Take a care, <laughs> be careful, no rush. Even this is very kick stretch. Hips can be a little bit closer or far from the wall. It really depends on how you feel in your hips. Bending your left knee, take your right ankle on top of your left thigh for figure first stretch. Try your best to move your right knee away from the chest, noticing the tension or tightness on your right hip. Stay and breathe. Anytime you can adjust your foot. Adjust your hips. Adjust your intensity. <laughs> you might hang out here a little bit longer in your time. Release and switch your side. Left ankle on top of your right thigh, left knee out of your chest. Let the lower back relax. Let the shoulders open, relax. Just breathing through the space that you feel the most. If you need more stretch, stay there. In your time, release both legs out, heels against the wall. Just take a moment to chill. If you wanna go deeper, if you want to stretch your hamstring a little bit more, hips close the wall. Keep the legs nice and long. Relax your lower back down to the earth. Sometimes I release my hands over the head. Feel the nice gentle stretch for my shoulders. You can hold the opposite elbows or simply release your hands. Now I'm gonna use the wide side of the wall to open my feet. 
So you can find enough space to stretch your inner thighs in a V shape. It can be little mini V shape or if you have more space in your legs and hips, go ahead, feet apart from each other, flex your feet or point your toes. <laughs> Any crafts, any sound, puffs, welcome to the sensation in your hips and legs. Now you can bend your knees, feet together, finding the Barakonasana, the butterfly shape. Open your knees apart. Gently press through your thighs. As you're ready, bring your knees together, roll onto your one side. Press up to your city pose. That's it for today. If you have more time, you can just sit against the wall, find the length in your spine. Fix your posture, back against the wall, back of your head also, press gently to the wall. See if you can maintain this posture for the rest of your day. Just let's try your best. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Thanking yourself for showing up, taking little time for yourself, for your well-being. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Hope to see you soon. Namaste.